There are 90 births and deaths in one shana for one individual. In each birth and death, there are 900 thoughts. We have so many thoughts in such a short time. At the third dhyana, thoughts stop. There is no first thought or later thought. Here, thoughts stop. This is a third dhyana state. Not only does pounds stop, we breathe stop. Even thoughts stop. Sit for a month and you do not know whether it has been a month. Sit for a year and you do not know that it has been a year. There is no sense of time or space. Sit and enter somebody here does not mean death. You can come back if you want to. Your thought stops. But as you start thinking, how come I am here meditating? This thought is born, so you come back. The state of the third dhyana has no thought at all, which is purity. Thoughts are like dust, leaving you impure. Why you are still breathing? There is no light to speak of. Breath stops and your light manifests. You will feel pure and there is light when your pan stops. There is real purity to speak of when thoughts stop. These are the heaven of lesser purity, the heaven of limitless purity, and the heaven of universal purity. These are the third dhyana heavens. The third dhyana is called the ground of wonderful bliss from living joy. Leave joy behind. We think it is good to be joyous, but this should be left behind so that we are not even attached to joy. This is the wonderful function from the ground, a wonderful bliss from living joy. Sutra. They came from the birth of blessings heaven, the love of blessings heaven, the abundant fruit heaven, the no thought heaven, the no affliction heaven, the no heat heaven, the good views heaven, the good manifestation heaven, the ultimate form heaven, the Maheshvara heaven, and so forth, up to the heaven of the station of neither thought nor non thought. All those groups of gods, dragons, ghosts, and spirits came and gathered together. Commentary They came from the birth of blessings heaven. What is the birth of blessings heaven? Beings in this layer of heaven have ended the, case, the causes that led to suffering and abide in extreme bliss. He does not experience any suffering and is not attached to bliss. What does it mean by he does not experience any suffering and is not attached to bliss? Although Pan stopped in the first year in our heavens, he still experiences suffering and afflictions. At the second and third year in our heavens, suffering and afflictions have not yet ended. At the fourth year in our heavens, the birth of blessings heaven. He does not experience any suffering. The seeds for suffering are no more. Although suffering disappears, is he happy? He is not attached to happiness. So, he is not attached to bliss. He has left behind the suffering and afflictions of the first dhyana and the sadness of the second dhyana heavens. The beings in the second dhyana heavens have not yet ended their sadness. When they reach the fourth dhyana, the sadness of the second dhyana is gone. What are the causes of the suffering? They are desire. Desire is the cause of suffering. What are desires? Desires are the causes of suffering. Without desire, there is no suffering. Without lust, there would be no cause of for suffering. Beings in the fourth dhyana heavens do not have lust. All the desires have uh, severed, they vanish, the gross marks all disappear. There is a kind of pure blessings, blessings and virtue. This is a quality of the birth of heavens being the first of the fourth dhyana heavens. Most people only know about the heavens, but how many? In the Buddhist sutras, there are all of the six desire heavens, the three heavens of the first dhyana, the three heavens of the second dhyana, and the three heavens of the third dhyana. And in the fourth dhyana, there are nine heavens, 
the birth of blessings heaven is the first layer of the fourth Diana heavens because its pure blessings manifested. The love of blessings heaven, the blessings of this heaven are lovely. In this heaven, renunciation is perfected to a point that it is interpenetrating and unhindered. They can renounce what they could not renounce before, and they renounce what they can renounce, of course. They let go of what they could not let go before, and let go of what they could already let go all the more. This is the perfection of renunciation, pure in victorious understandings. He enjoys a blessing that cannot be obscured. It supersets the bounds of heaven and earth. He gets his wishes to come true, and he can do as he pleases. At this time, both suffering and blessing are left behind. There is no suffering or bliss. Although suffering and bliss have left, they do not obstruct existence of the form realm. They may enjoy the realm of existence, but they accumulate merit and uh, merit for another pursuit to another goal. What is that? He hopes for the states enjoyed in, two, in the two heavens above of the love. Above the love of blessings heaven, the abundant fruit heaven, and the no thought heaven. However, the abundant fruit heaven is one of the four Diana heavens why the no thought heaven is where he takes place. Before reaching the abundant fruit heaven, one may go to the abundant fruit heaven or the no thought heaven. No thought heaven is a state of heretics, so it is easy to become diverted down the wrong path here. One can become born in the heavens and walk into the heretics heaven still. What is the abundant fruit heaven? The abundant fruit heaven is the fruition for ordinary beings. All the six desire heavens are fruitions that ordinary people reach. The finest state that ordinary people can reach is the abundant fruit heaven. The abundant fruit heaven leaves the definement of the heavens below. They enjoy boundless and limitless joy in the, the abundant fruit heaven. Their spiritual powers also have endless fruitions. So it is not easy to become reborn in the abundant fruit heaven. The wonderful accord is the vast amount of wonderful accord more than that of the love of blessings heaven. They can cultivate to reach this fruit as they so wish. This is, this is the abundant fruit heaven. The no thought heaven. At the no thought heaven, their thought sees but not forever, just 500 ends. His life is 500 ends, so he goes through life without develop one thought. But in 500 ends, he develops one thought. During those 500 ends, for 499 ends, he has no thought. But there is one end where his thought is during the first half. But his thoughts occur in the last half of this end. This is no thought where every time in his entire life is spent thinking. This heaven is totally occupied by heretics. Heretics reach this layer of heaven and think this is the ultimate heaven. He thinks that he will reach Nirvana here. He stays here to cultivate, but he will still fall. This is a place where heretics abide. The no affliction heaven. Heavenly beings have no afflictions from views or thoughts. What are afflictions from views and thoughts? Views come from greed. Thoughts are discriminating opinions due to ideas not understood or not clear about. Without the delusions of view and, and delusions of thought, they do not have that type of heated afflictions. There is no suffering or bliss in a state where both suffering and bliss have ended. They have no wish to fight, so their afflictions disappear. Cool and refreshed is the no efficient heaven, the no heat heaven. Heat refers to heated afflictions. That heaven is very cool, devoid of heated afflictions. 
the good views heaven what does this mean those in this heaven enjoy views that are vast and far they can see a long ways away the good manifestation heaven this is a very subtle and wonderful transformation that manifests all the joyful states the ultimate form heaven the heavens described above are all heavens of the form realm this is the ultimate form heaven the Maheshvara heaven Maheshvara is Sanskrit that means great is the Maheshvara God has eight arms three heads and rides on the great white ox he thinks he is very much at ease the Maheshvara heaven is also called the great heaven of ease among these ten heavens described above no thought heaven is where he takes and heavenly demons live whereas the other nine heavens are all fourth dhyana heavens the fourth dhyana is also called the ground of purity from renouncing thoughts earlier we said that pound stops in the first dhyana breath stops in the second dhyana thought stop in the third dhyana and the fourth dhyana thoughts are renounced the ground of purity from renouncing thoughts abandons thoughts and so forth observe the heaven of the station of neither thought nor non thought the heaven of the station of neither thought nor non thought includes the heaven of the state of bodily emptiness the heaven of station of bodily consciousness the heaven of the station of nothing whatsoever and the heaven of the station of neither thought nor non thought since even consciousness is gone, it is called no non thought. No thought is not nothing. There is still some thought, not necessarily no thought whatsoever. This is the heaven of the station of neither thought nor non thought. All those groups of many gods, many dragons, many ghosts, and spirits came and gathered together in the palace of the Chigashimsha heaven. Sutra. Moreover, sea spirits, river spirits, stream spirits, tree spirits, mountain spirits, earth spirits, brook and marsh spirits, sprout and seedling spirits, day, night and space spirits, heaven spirits, food and drink spirits, grass and wood spirits, and other such spirits from the Saha and other ones came and gathered together. Commentary we talked about all those many heavens, ghosts and spirits, gods and dragons and others, but we are still not done. Moreover, sea spirits, river spirits, stream spirits, these are all the places with water. In the Buddha's longer Agama Sutra, it talks about where oceans, rivers and lakes come from. The sun releases heat as heat boils, there is a perspiration forming streams, rivers, lakes, and oceans. Not only do people sweat, but earth sweat, trees sweat, and all beings sweat. Under the blaze of the sun, things get hot than perspire. No matter where the sun shines, it releases heat that is a blaze. Too much perspiration in the world creates lots of water that turn into streams and rivers. Water pervades all places throughout space and the Dharmarium. There is water everywhere. For example, the Sura Gama Sutra describes how do water comes to a crystal platter held toward the sky on the full moon night. This proves that water exists everywhere. Although it is everywhere, we do not see it sometimes because there is the inherent nature of water, but no water in physical form. For instance, one quality of water is wetness, and most places are extremely wet, which proves that water exists everywhere. Fire also exists everywhere. The nature of fire and water work together rather than in conflict. How come there is no tangible water everywhere? The universe and water are connected, but the four heavenly kings have a pearl for avoiding water. Without this pearl, water would drown out from this world. Which is why water is not everywhere.
this idea is very wonderful when explained. What are oceans? Oceans are dark because look like submerged in the ocean and you cannot see anything. You cannot see anything in the huge ocean. You do not know how deep, how wide or how large it is. This is the ocean that means big obscure. There are many spirits in the ocean, one of whom is the Dragon King. Among the other sea spirits, there is also one called Hai Ru and one called Yang He. Hai Ru, the sea spirit, is a type of beast and not a type of insect. It has 18 tails, it lacks, it has, and has a human face. This is the highest ranking spirit in the sea. There are many other spirits. If you see any of these while meditating, do not be afraid. Sea spirits came to make offerings to you. Do not be frightened by its grotesque appearance. How do you explain river? What is the difference between river and ocean? Rivers are larger than streams. Oceans are bigger than rivers. Rivers are extremely wide, but not very deep. Streams are not as wide as rivers. Oceans are the largest, being the lot of the myriad waterways. All the rivers, streams, and lakes funnel into the ocean. It can accept all the waterways, no matter how many. Streams are different. They have to expand to other areas. Oceans do not flow toward other areas. The Chinese character for streams means impartiality or imperial tribute. All the goods produced along the Yangtze River, the Huai He River, the Yellow River, and the Han Shui River are sent in as tributes to the emperor. There is another interpretation for the Chinese character river too, which is little known. It means the palms of the hand. When the river is calm and has no waves, it is like the palm of a hand, even like a mirror. The water spirits, stream spirits, and ocean spirits are all spirits in the water. There are also tree spirits and mountain spirits. The Chinese character trees may be explained as production of birth because things grow in the mountains. It can be the word in vain in that it shoots the seeds of the Maria things without hitting the target. Earth spirits. Earth is explained as the bottom because it can grow all things and carry all things so it is at the very bottom. Brook and marsh spirits. The Chinese character for brooks also means penetrate in that brooks go through soil to other places originally without water. Marshes are also places with water. Sprout and seedling spirits. What are sprouts? Vegetation that grows to a certain height is called sprouts. Seedlings are seeds where when they being planted into the ground as a part of the harvest. They are pits. Day spirit, a spirit in charge of the day. Night spirit, a spirit in charge of the night. The divide between day and night is midnight. After midnight, it is day. After noon, night begins. Although there is not officially the sun at midnight, young energy has developed already. People usually experience lust from 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. because a young energy emerges. Without lust, there is wisdom. Go down one direction, it turns into wisdom. Go down another direction, it turns into lust. This is similar to the fog of the road, to the abundant fruit heaven and the no thought heaven. Maintain proper thoughts, then you go down the direction that is your wisdom. Go down the other direction and your desire is helped. Afternoon is when yin begins. Lust devel develops at night too. Instead of moving down the path of lust, you will be moving down the path of wisdom. There is also a fog in the road leading either to yin or yang. It is up to you on how you will travel. 
and space spirits. Who are space spirits? Space spirits refer to Shunyata in Ananda's verse before the Suragama Mantra. Even could the nature of Shunyata melt away, my vara like supreme resolve would still remain unmoved. Do not just let what you hear go by thinking you are not greedy because you are not even greedy for the drama. Not being greedy for the Buddha drama, you better not greedy for worldly drama either. If you are not greedy for the Buddha drama but are greedy for worldly drama and sit around counting your money all day, then it is a problem too. Heaven spirits, food and drink spirits, their spirits to food too. Spirits supervise people's food intakes, even if it is just one mouthful of water, one fruit or one food item for the day. If you believe it, it exists. If you do not believe it, it still exists, but you just don't know about it. It is a stupid idea to say that it does not exist unless I believe it. Whether you believe there is such a spirit, it exists. There, there was a Duan Chong Yuan in Beijing. Most people called him Master Duan. He met someone who was in charge of the amount of food, water, alcohol, sugar everyone takes in a day. It is fixed. How did he supervise all this? He slept every day. His father was a commander or some type of officer of that sort with 400 or 500 people under him. This son was 20 or 30 years old but did not work and slept all day. The father was very upset thinking, I am 50 or 60 and I have to work to take care of you. You are 20 or 30 but you do, do not bother to do any work at all. What use are you to the world? He could not help but scold his son. His son said, you are an officer in the human realm but I am an officer in the, the underworld. What kind of an officer are you in the underworld? I unlock the amount of food and drinks each person takes every day. His father said, What nonsense are you saying? People's food intake has to be allotted. That does not make sense. Tell me what I am going to eat tomorrow. Assign something to me. Please wait. Let me tell you after I sleep a while. I do not know right now. His father was so angry. How ridiculous! You assign my food? When his son woke up, his son told him, You will not have any rights to eat tomorrow. The father howled with laughter. A high-ranking officer like me has no food to eat. Then what will I eat? His son said, Tomorrow you will only get to eat one rotten egg and half a bowl of spoiled congee. That is your food for tomorrow. As rich and powerful as I am, how can I end up eating only rotten and spoiled foods? Early the next morning, he immediately began butchering chickens and ducks, preparing fish and meat, making a bunch of excellent dishes. When he was about to eat, his superior sent an order, wanting him somewhere immediately to suppress some bandits. He could not delay for one second leaving all the cooked food, not having touched any of it at all. He rushed off to beat the bandits. This battle was a total blow and chaos. He was attacking the bandits and the bandits were attacking him too. It was very lively. After all that trouble, they chased the bandits away. They do not have food yet, so when they finally found a family, it must be it must have been one of the poorest because they said they had nothing to eat. They searched for a long while. There was no rice, no noodles, no vegetables. They only had a rotten egg and half a bowl of spoiled country prepared for their pregnant woman of the house. They were willing to give up the food for the commander who wanted to eat now. The commander was so hungry and ate what he got immediately. Since his subordinates did not want any fine foods, they got to eat before the battle. 
so the commander was the only one who did not eat. After he ate that rotten egg and half a bowl of congee, he remembered what his son told him yesterday. It was true that these were the exact things that he ate today. From then on, he knew that his son was an officer in the underworld, so the father let his son be. This is about a food spirit. Grass and wood spirits. There are spirits to grass, spirits to woods, and spirits to trees. Trees stand erect. The largest tree in southern Jambu Vipa is its tree king. When trees are big, they become villages for ghosts and spirits. Ghosts and spirits depend on these trees because they either suffer without these trees as dwellings or enjoy themselves living in these trees. Last trees are called villages for ghosts and spirits. During the time of Kalko, the three kingdoms, everyone referred to a large tree as a tree spirit. Kalko did not believe the pupil and ordered the tree chopped down. Thereafter, he experienced headaches all the time. Later, they requested Kwa Tua to treat him and the diagnosis was that he offended a tree spirit. For divisions, Vinaya proscribes bishops from chopping down any large tree because there are ghosts and spirits living in them. For example, there was a comfort tree at Nan Kwa Monastery that requested to receive the precepts from Elder Master Su Yun. Elder Chin Shan of Nan Yu also had a tree that bore white fruits requested precepts from him. There are many incredible examples of tree spirits requesting to receive the precepts. I told you earlier that whether you believe in the spirits or not, they exist. It does not mean the spirits do not exist because you do not believe they exist. Most people will say what exists for them is what they believe and what they do not believe does not exist for them. With these things though, they exist whether you believe it or not. For instance, there are gold mines in the ground whether you know it or not, believe it or not. You believe that they are spirits because you know where there is they you do not believe there are these spirits because you do not know it is not because these spirits do not exist but that you essentially do not have the knowledge and wisdom to know we do not simply follow everyone else's mistaken understandings and the other such spirits many others in addition so the ones mentioned here from the Saha and other worlds came and gathered together at the Chiyashim Shah heaven to listen to the Buddha speak the Dharma. There are many natural and man-made disasters occurring in San Francisco now. Most recently, a typhoon killed more than 90 people in the disaster area. This kind of disaster occurs because living beings evil karma repent. Someone said around May of last year that seismologists predicted earthquakes, but I wrote a guarantee that as long as I am in San Francisco, there will be no earthquakes, but I will not bother if I am somewhere else outside of San Francisco. I do not like earthquakes. I do not want people around me to fall over into the ocean. Why? I do not want to see the Dragon King. I do not want to befriend the sea spirit with the eight heads, eight legs, and eighteen tails. Out of the eight heads, four are of male features and four are of female features. One body with eight heads of four couples is very strange. It does things strangely too. It is very special. I don't want to interact with it or let people who stay with me see it. I am not being selfish, but because nothing good will be accomplished by visiting it. Someone told me again this year that there will be earthquakes in March or April. Will I be another insurance com company that offers guarantees this year? 
it is the same. In short, do not forget what I said last year. As long as I am in San Francisco that day, I guarantee there will be no major earthquakes, though not minor problems. During this age, where drama is on the decline, there are many natural and mundane disasters. So I hope everyone will recite Quanshin Bodhisattva's name more, recite Earth Stalking Bodhisattva's name more. This way, San Francisco will be as stable as Mount Time without major problems.